All right, what we got here, YouTube, is redneck hot tub heater. Take one, and I looked up, found a $5 rebuild kit for a hot water heater that was supposed to be run on 220. Came with two elements. I put one on this end, one on that end. You can tell by my arrows how which way the water's running. Um, just for a note, they are running on 110, not 220, and that's because I was afraid they would overheat and burn the PVC. But so far, so good, and I've had it up and going for about a month. So we've got hot, hot, uh, circulating pump, more or less, is what I use that for. It's drawing from the footwell. And it also comes in from this side over here at the filter, which is back there. And then I've got this big pump, which is a pull pump, 83 gallons a minute. And I can cut on the three chairs, or I can control these two loungers. And by the way, all this was free. The tub was free, got it off Craigslist. Um, I had to buy a few pieces of PVC and a few fittings. Um, I bought some green board to make my cover out of and some vinyl to cover it with. I've got 450 feet of black irrigation hose right up above me here with the sun beating down on it. With this little pump right here, pumping it, circulating it back down to the footwell. And that's about it, man. Any questions, leave comments. I kind of got the idea off YouTube and, you know, it is what it is. I've got it kind of blocked in under here, but let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so obviously I couldn't do it one-handed, but here it is, both pumps running. You can see the whirlpool over there. Like I said, 83 gallons a minute. So this tub circulates itself in five minutes. Every inch of this water is done. And it's stayed really clear. I've used uh, HGH Shock and Swim. And I've been wanting to get some Aqua Finesse. But other than that, we've just been using minerals in it. But this thing will get down, believe me almost hurt your back. Check it out. three jets and then I also have right for it Machine hooked up. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now. I called Thermospa 
and tried to get a price on this thing. And they reluctantly told me that their small tubs start out at five grand and they go all the way up to 35 grand for their swim spas. So I think I'm looking at about a $5,000 to a $10,000 tub when it was new. And like I said, I got all this for free, y'all. The tub came off Craigslist. The wood and stuff was donated by a college that's in my local area. Um, their art department had a stage that they were tearing down, so I used it for the sides. Um, the fencing came off a job that I had just laying around. And the French doors, there's one that I'm putting in there, one over here. They were free. Um, I'm gonna be modest and say I've got $300 chemicals and all in it, 300 bucks. So I don't think you can beat it. Watch this thing pull down a whirlpool. Anyway, that's over five minutes for me, and that's a long one. So. Hope it gives you some ideas. And you can't beat going solar. Solar's where it's at, man. This tub will get up to 104 degrees like it ain't nothing on a sunny day. And that's no electricity. So, hope you enjoy. Hope it gives helps somebody. Like it, comment. I'll try to answer back. See you, bye.